Hey you guys, it's your girl Dee and I'm back with another entrepreneur video. So as you guys could tell in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to make your business legit. Now when I mean legit, that means that your business name is an actual business. In the, um, in the state of California or wherever you are, your business will be legitimate. And which means you have to pay taxes and all that stuff, but hey, that's the good stuff of actually owning a good, I mean, of owning a business. So if you guys are new to this channel, I'm Dee and I am the owner of Naturally Dee's Collection. I sell lip gloss, lip scrubs, um, body butters, um, what else do I sell? I sell a bunch of stuff. Just go on my website and check it out, you guys. Um, I have um, so many ideas I want to bring into my website and to my YouTube channel. And I'm so thankful for you guys for joining me on this journey and on this ride, you guys. Um, I have been getting so much love and so many subscribers and likes and I'm absolutely loving it. Um, so again, thank you guys so much. And again, if you're new, please please push that subscribe button, that like button, and please turn on that notification bell so every time I post a video, you guys will be notified. All right, you guys, so let's get right into this video of how to make your business legit. So, step number one. The first step you need to do is come up with a business name. So, of course, that sounds easy and obvious. Come up with a business name. And then, so straight into step number two, you are going to file for a fictitious name slash a DBA. So a fictitious name is just a name um, that your business would be go that would be ran by. So basically, if your business did not have a name, it would just go as your name. So if my business was not Natural Ladies Collection, it would just go as Khadija and then my last name. That would be my business name. But a fictitious name is naturally D's collection it's a name separate from my own name so what you're going to do is you're going to file for that fictitious name so what you're going to do is you are going to go to your state of secretaries um i'm sorry your state of secretaries website i'm in the state of california so i went to the california state of secretary and there i looked in the search it says like it's like key bar or search or something like that I put a fictitious name and what came up was the fictitious name and everything I'm saying in this web in this um, video will be linked down below so you guys can follow along or go check out these links as well so back to what I was saying um, you'll go to that link and it will show you no I'm sorry it will take you to a page of where you will input your fictitious name to see if it's if anybody else has it or not so you'll type in your name and if there is nobody else that had filed for that name there will be zero searches so that's perfect now if your name is kind of common it will come up and i'm pretty sure there's going to be different variations of how um the name is that it's already filed but for um a little advice out there if your name if you type in your business name and there are a couple of businesses that are already similar to that name i will try and change your name to where it doesn't look like anybody else's because you do not want your name to resemble somebody else's and um you know when your customers type in your name they type it in wrong and then it'll lead them to somebody else's um, website or you know information and you don't want that so you would want to try and make your name as unique as possible um, so again you'll file for that fictitious name um, so once you search up that fictitious name if you have it I mean if somebody has it or if not then from there you will actually have to send in a form and actually get it um, approved through the state um, so that will take a couple of days. They'll give you back your, you know, your yes or your no, and then uh, you can file for your fictitious name. Their, your fictitious name, it does cost some money. I do not remember how much, but everything in the website that I'm going to link below will be there in that website. So step number... So step number three 
your fees and I'm sorry your licenses and permits so once you get your fictitious name you want to see what license what licenses and permits your business needs so depending on your business you will need certain um, licenses and certificates and stuff like that so for me for example in the state of California all I need is a seller's permit an actual business license and if I want a reseller's permit so first the business license Everybody needs a business license. You need that business license and it's gonna be it's gonna be like in a I don't know if it's a plaque or a paper, but it will basically Have your business name and it's basically stating that you know your business is legit so that's your proof that you have um, That you have your business license now your business license is basically proving to the world and to the state of California that you do own a legitimate business and that if you want to do um, either some vendors or certain um, if you are into like the pop-up shops and stuff sometimes the person you are renting from they will need your business license to know that you are legitimate so that business license is number one and then for two I need a seller's permit so the seller's permit is for somebody who is selling tangibles there I'm selling products so if I'm just selling services as in like advice I don't need a seller's permit but since I'm selling tangibles I'm selling lip gloss I'm selling things that you can hold and touch I need a seller's permit and um, I do go out to um, different events and I am a vendor and there are some um, vendor events that do ask for you to have a seller's a seller's permit because that's letting them know along with your business license that you are legitimate and that um you are allowed in the state of california to sell your products and then the third one that i can that i need now the, i'm sorry the third one i don't need it it's optional it's a reseller's permit now for a reseller's permit most people will use that if they're getting um uh if they're getting wholesale orders or something like that like if i'm going to downtown la they'll need a seller a reseller's permit so i'm getting it from them them i'm getting it and i'm going to resell it so that is proof that i have that i'm able to do that in the state of california so those are the three licenses that i need to be to be legitimate so that's my business license my seller's license and optional my reseller's permit and then after that, after you've gotten all that done, so you you got your business name, you filed for your fictitious name, and then you got all your licenses and your permits and stuff like that. So now last step, you are going to file for your EIN. Now, your EIN is like your tax ID number. Now, for me, I don't need to file for EIN because I could use my social security number. Now, the only way you do need an EIN number is if you are going to hire people to work under your business and if you are planning to take out a line of credit or, um, yeah, pretty much a line of credit with a bank or something. So, again, to, to make your business legitimate, you need to come up with a name and then you need to file that name. And then once you file that name, you will file for your permits and your licenses and your certificates. And then if need be, you will file for your EIN number so you could file taxes and stuff. So these four steps, you guys, if you do it, I promise you, it's super easy, super simple. You guys, your business will be legitimate and voila, <laughs> you got it. So I hope this video helped you guys and I hope I explained it good enough and if not you guys I have the links down below um, I do have a couple of videos that are coming up that are truly going to help you guys um, and that I wish were out when I was trying to figure all of this out but I'm coming with that content you guys and I really really want to thank you guys for watching this video and watching the whole thing and I truly do help I uh, truly do hope that this video helped you guys you guys thank you again so much 
Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Please go check out my other videos. Um, they're helping the small businesses like I am, you guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments below or hit me up on any of my social media, you guys. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. Bye. You guys, thank you so much for all your support. Ever since I started doing this series, I noticed that I'm getting a, a more, more um, views.